Dave here, how are you? Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a bit of a demonstration, a walkthrough of Carbotex THBX 330P. This is a thickness planer and it has a segmented head in it which has got 26 individual cutters wrapped around the head and it does a 13 inch wide cut and it is a cracker. Let me get into it. Let's open it up first. So in the top we find to your warranty form all this, the instructions on how to use it. And the, up the top is the handle and a small machine screw with an Allen key head. Now we'll open the box. We'll slide the polystyrene out, the top cover. Now it's a good idea. I found it's a good idea to hold onto these boxes and these just in case I need to transport it anywhere further down the track. Now you may want to get someone to help you with this because the machine is 38 kilos. I'll be okay, but remember it is a fair weight. So I suggest it is a two person lift. The front of the machine is where the brand is. Okay, so we open this up and now we've got some foam blocks in there as well. There's a start switch off, a depth adjustment gauge and also the chute. So I'm going to spin around. On the back inside we've got the dust collection chute and the power lead. So before we go raising and lowering the head it's a good idea to put the crank handle in. So it's got a little flat on one side and we slide that in and then we put the screw in from the other side and it looks to me to be a three millimeter. On this side is a toolbox and it has the Torx screwdriver for undoing the knives and it's also got an allen key there. I'll put the allen key on the screw and feed through from the back. We have the on button, the off button, the reset. This is the overheat switch. This is an indicator as I push timber in it will push up or down. It's in metric and imperial. My advice is to work on between half a millimeter to a millimeter. It will do 150 millimeters or six inches down to one eighth of an inch. This guy here, when I move it backwards and forwards, is moving a series of steps, which are actually stops for the head to rest against so I can maintain a consistent thickness. That is, of course, if I'd used the stop in the first place to create that same thickness of timber. Very, very handy. Right, on the side here, turning this direction, it's got a little arrow that says up. On the clockwise side of the knob, there's an arrow that's pointing to down. So if I want to lower the machine down. At a glance, I can see how much I'm going to cut in the next pass, the next, the next depth of the cut. I use these a lot, so I'll rotate it to there, lock the head. Now the whole head is locked, it can't vibrate down or up. And then to change it, of course, I release that and take it to the next point, then lock it again. All right, now we're going to come to the dust chute and it has a plug at one end. You pull that plug out, this is for a four inch hose and you can plug it into that end. If you're using a four inch hose, pull it out of there and put it into the other end if you're using a two and a half inch hose. The great thing about this chute is that it's going off either side, which means the hose isn't going to be hanging down in the way of the timber. Let's have a look inside here. First thing we'll do is have a look at the blade guard. Just here is a vent. Now, back here is the fan on the motor. So it is spinning real fast and blowing air out this way like crazy. So what they've done is they've directed all the air into this chute, which is over the blade guard, and that will spread the air out over all of the chip area and will assist with the ejection. Inside here, we have teeth. Now be careful with this and make sure that it's unplugged if you're ever working on here. So I'm gonna point in here. Now on one corner of each cutter, on a corner of each knife is a little dot. And that means either side of that dot, the, sh the blade is sharp. On the opposing sides, they're not sharp. They're designed to push back against this support. There are 26 blades in there in total. All the blades are, are segmented 
straight blade. So that means that all the blades are facing forwards. They're not tipped over at an angle. So the bottom of the cut, the surface of the timber as it's coming through, is dead flat. It has the Torx screwdriver. I'll put it down here so you can see it. And it's designed to go into there. Make sure that there's no dust on it when you're trying to remove a blade. Get your compressed air gun and blow all of this out cleanly so that you get a good purchase with this because these blades will be in tight. You undo it, take it out, clean all underneath, rotate the blade 90 degrees so that the dot is still facing forwards, but, but it will be on the other side. Makes sense when you do it and then tighten the screw back up. There is no setting with this. It is a dream to change blades. There is no setting jig. It's all highly machined straight in. I'm going to run a few different species of timber and hardness and softness through the machine. The first one I'm going to do is a little bit of northern silky oak. This is a nice thick piece. I'll measure it up on the top first and then I'll set the depth. Next one I'll do is a piece of Australian Jarrah. This is from West Australia. This is 285 millimeters wide. This is extremely hard timber. Again, it is absolutely beautiful on the finish. You can see how nice it is. And the last one will be a piece of Surian cedar. This is extremely soft. You would think that the hardwoods would be harder to plane than the softwoods but this particular softwood the grain tends to collapse under a cutter but not with this and now look at it absolutely beautiful a little bit of sanding and ready to go. Absolutely beautiful. And have a look at the dust extraction during these passes as well. Okay, so full control with this machine and that's what I'm after. 13 inch maximum width cut, but remember drop it down to about half a millimeter per pass. If you're doing that wide, narrower timber, you can make it a little bit more, more aggressive if you need it to be. You have a headlock, you've got good control over the depth of cut on the side on the crank it's very well graduated the front also tells you as you feed the timber in how much you're going to remove in that pass uh, the dust extraction is fantastic it's got a handy ruler up the top here just in case you forgot to bring one of these with you what more can i say 26 individual knives and it gives you two bites of the cherry you do not need a blade setting jig with this machine it is dead easy. Undo the torque screw, rotate the blade one quarter of a turn, tighten it up again, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Keep on coming back. If you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel just down there. Click that button and ring the bell, and that will let you know the next time I do a video. See you next time. Bye.